Hey YouTube, I'm back. Oh, I've been pure killer of a cold for a week now. Yeah, coughing up. <coughs> yeah, so super sore throat. I think I got it at that gig we did on Saturday night. It's been all right. Um, got another one this Saturday the, uh, after the end Black Sabbath band. But um, I managed to stick this back together again. This was this is a Ch Bison Les Paul standard, which I picked up last week. Um, very pretty guitar, I thought. It's like it's obviously it's got this um, pretty three D veneer in the front, which you can't really see in this video. But it's white in the back, which I really liked. Um, I really I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, got this from my pal in Sterling. This is one of the early Chipsons. I seem to remember maybe about 10, 15 years ago on eBay. There was you could buy these direct from China. Um, they were always, you know, they always started at 99p and folk were picking them up for 100 quid, 120 quid. I think he said he paid 150, 120, or something like that. For this, his dad bought it for him, and it's like um, the serial number and it says Made Me USA runs out as being a proper Gibson and stuff like that. It's not, though. But um, it's very different from the more recent. I've had a couple of chips and Les Pauls. One I actually bought when I was in China, and this is a much better guitar than either of those were. Obviously, these things, like, all the fake ones are all made in different factories. So this one is, um, it's good. It's mahogany body, so I looked inside to pick up things. It doesn't have a maple cap, but it does have a, a veneer, you know, it's only a couple of millimetres thick. Bent over the mahogany body, set neck and all that. Um, it's been pretty extensively upgraded from, from the, the guy who had it before me. It's got Wilkinson tuners on it. It's got Iron Gear hot slag pickups which I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've heard the name before. I looked them up. I don't think they make them anymore. But um, it's sort of hot Les Paul pickups. Uh, and Les Pauls aren't really my thing, but I quite like this one. It's one of those ones that, um, obviously I can't sell it because it says Gibson on it. If I was going to sell it, I might gouge off the name. But I wish I could get like a Chipson logo to stick it on it, but I don't think you've I thought someone would make them, but they don't. So I might... Um, score off the name and then score off the serial number in the back just so there's no if I decide to sell it but in saying that it's like I don't actually have a Les Paul I don't really like Les Pauls but I quite like this one for some reason I think because it's white I think it's the white around the outside has really done it for me it did come with no fret job though um, even though the guy I had before me had upgraded the pickups and tuners and stuff there were high frets everywhere and the trust road was all over the place it basically it didn't play now it's playing pretty good um, honestly not, not a big one for clean ones on Les Paul so Les Paul you're meant to mix between the two aren't you Drive now, um, the rat seems a little bit harsh for it since I'm using that one. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm also playing that pop down there, but um... So this for the band, you This one's also been upgraded to, I think it's CTS pots, the ones that have got the sort of brass shafts on them, and it's got the big orange drop capacitors, and it's had it's, had its fair, bit, fair bit of money spent on it, and I'm not, I don't like the CTS pots, I prefer just, I would rather just bought the cheap ones, and the, they don't seem, I had to take the bridge volume to bits, put it back together again, and the neck volume doesn't go all the way off. So I'm going to have to take that, that one to bits and maybe just replace it as well. But I've had this before with them um, on a Gibson Les Paul when someone had put in these, you know, they thought, oh, I'll buy the £20 pots and it's like they're not good. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe, maybe if you've got like years of a bat, you can hear the difference in them. But I mean, physically, they, they, they come to bits. <laughs> it's like, um, they're just not very strong. Orange drop capacitor as well. Um, a wee bit of the thinking that people, if you're into buying you know, your, these type of pots and the orange drop caps and stuff, it's basically my guitar that isn't expensive enough. I want to put some more money in it so it's better. And it's like, it doesn't make any difference. Like the guy who had this before me should have basically taken it, got it set up, got the fretboard done, and then the guitar would have been great. Because it is, I mean, it's fantastic. I quite like these pickups as well. They've got uh, the extra wires for coil splitting, but they're not uh, set up for that. I don't know if you really want coil splits in the last one. If all chips and like this, I can see that you always see people on on forums and stuff saying, "Oh, I've got chips and they put they, you know they bought the proper tone pros bridge and you know Gibson pickups and all that, and it's uh, it's just as good as a Les Paul." And it's like, if to be honest, if it was like this, it probably is not far off it. Um, I wouldn't go throwing five hundred pounds worth of parts on it. I mean. Okay, the pickups, maybe, I don't know what the pickups were like before. These ones seem really nice, so the, the iron gear ones. I've had a few guitars with iron gears in them before, I've never actually bought them. But they seem fine. I'd imagine being called hot slag, they're sort of high output, so they're quite, quite rocking, you know. Um, It's also got the baseball bat neck on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
just got for five minutes ago. I like and um, I think I might keep it um, just so I've got a Les Paul um, even if it is a Chipson <coughs> but it really is night and day compared to I had one a black one if you look back in my videos maybe about a year ago something like that and um, it was like a toy you know it looked like a guitar but it really it just it just wasn't a guitar this is actually a decent guitar I would probably put this it's better than an Epiphone that might be something to do with the pickups being good, but with the guitar plays well. But then again, as I said, I had to do quite a bit of fret work on it. There's a couple of frets up here that were well high, so you, the only way you could get it to play was to have the action away out here somewhere. Otherwise, it just fretted out, and it's not doing that anymore. Not really that much wrong. You can get wrong with an electric guitar. You can maybe check the intonation. Not too bad, I've noticed if it was really bad. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Never played it anyway. I don't like Les Pauls just because everyone's got them. I'd much rather have something more interesting. But there you go. So, Chips and Les Paul, nicely yellowed. Um, I really do like the white back. I think it looks awesome. And that's strange, which you're not going to get. I might take some photos of this outside. It really is a very impressive looking top. Not too gaudy, but pretty over the top. Um, fretboard, I'd imagine, is rosewood. Maybe a little bit dry, maybe put some lemon oil on that. Um, and uh, one of the tuners was bent, so if you look at it, two of the tuners are silver because I had them in my parts box. So one of the tuners was bent and one of them was missing the green bit on the end, so I just bought the green bits from eBay for a couple of quid and I'm going to glue it on. I'm going to straighten it out with a pair of pliers and then put the gold ones back on again. I just wanted to make the guitar work because I've been ill the last couple of days lying in bed looking at it hanging on the wall thinking, oh, I really want that to work. So now it does. Rock and roll, and see you on Sunday for playing it. Uh, if you're Edinburgh bound, playing in Bannerman's at I think it's eight o'clock. Rock and roll. <laughs>